The S1 series of cameras have a built-in time-lapse function. To access the time-lapse, you turn the drive switch here to the time-lapse function, and you'll see this on the screen that tells you you're in time-lapse. Now, the thing is, when you push menu set, it immediately takes you to the time-lapse menu, which is in the camera and it's in the other's photo two folder. But the nice thing is when you're there and you push menu set, it takes you right to it. So once I'm there, I can push menu set again, and this is where I get my options to set up my time-lapse. So my mode is time-lapse shot. My shooting interval can be on or off, and this determines whether I want to shoot another one right away or I want to stop and process this one. Now, my start time can either be now, so as soon as I've set everything up and I hit the shutter button, it'll start, or I can set up a start time. Let's say I wake up in the morning and want to get a sunrise time lapse for two hours. So now if I go back here and I go down to my, this is the important part here. So when I go to my image count, this is where it lets me put in the number of exposures I'm going to take and the interval or the time between exposures that the camera is going to pause. So to access this, I can just move across using the side button here. Right now, we've set it up to take 12 pictures, as you can see. Now, if I keep pushing the button, it'll go down to the next level down here. And I set it up to take a picture one second apart. If I wanted two, I could do that. So once I'm here, I have to push set either on the screen or here. And then I want to check and make sure that that setting is in there. Now, if I go to start now, I push menu set. And down at the bottom here, it's going to show me the symbol that I'm shooting a time lapse, and it's going to say 12 next to it. So now I'm taking these pictures. It's taking a picture one second apart. We're going to wait. Now down to four. It counts down on the screen, so you can see how many it has to go. Now the S-series camera, so after it's done, it says time lapse shot completed. It says, do I want to create the video in the camera? If I want to create the video right here, I can either push yes on the screen, now it's going to give me some choices. Okay? It's going to say I can either go ahead and just make the video if I've put my default choices in, but I can choose my record quality. I can choose different modes of 1080p or 4K. Okay? I can do my frame rate. I can choose uh, 24 down to 1 frames per second when this is rendered. I can do a sequence that would either be normal or I can have it play back in reverse. So we're going to do a normal one here. We're going to go up and I'm going to say OK, which is going to ask me to start it. So now it's going to say, create time one minute. I'm going to press yes. It generally doesn't take a minute. It depends on how long your, your time lapse is. But this goes across, and this is creating a video file that will be on the SD card right next to the JPEG pictures. Okay? So now it goes into the mode where I can play the video. Now, if there was something going on in this scene, we would see it racing around. Now, sometimes when you make a time lapse film, depending on the changes of light in the scene, you'll see a flickering or a changing of light between scenes. So there is a setting that you can help, that you can do to adjust that. So if I go down here, this is my time lapse animation window where we just were, where we set up our count. The last um, line in here is exposure leveling. If I turn exposure leveling on, it'll attempt to eliminate some of that flickering that you see in there. Now, another important thing to do with this, because we are making a video out of the still pictures, we don't want them shot as, let's say, a 3 to 2 format. We want them in a 16 by 9 or video format. So to change that, I push the Q menu button. On the main screen here, you'll see 3 to 2 down here, which is not the default, but it's probably what the camera is going to be in. I can go, I can use my wheels up here to change this to 16 by 9. Now when I create my time-lapse video, it's in a 16 by 9 or format that's ready for video. And that's how you create a time-lapse using the Lumix S-Series cameras.